Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of uh, biology and of course today we are going to be looking at the forms in which cells exist. Alright, you have been following our episodes, I'm sure you have been enjoying them. So please do not forget to like this video, do not forget to share and do not forget to subscribe. Alright, because subscription we send notification to your phone whenever we publish a new video. Alright, and of course do not forget this tutorial is brought to you by the one and only O3 School Jam app. Alright, it is all you need to succeed in your exam. I will talk about the app later, but for now let's begin with this class. And before we begin, let's take a question from the app. Alright, this is uh, a 2021 question number 11 and it says which of the following pairs of organisms exist as colonies it has been displayed on your screen right now which of the following pairs of organisms exist as colonies a obelia and euglena b pandorina and volvox c clamadomonas and amoeba uh, d hydra and spirogyra all right so i want to come back to this question at the end of this class but i just will show you that Whatever we are doing, it's, been, it's, 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 it's a serious thing. It has been set in your exams. We are not here to play at all. That's why I recommend this application. It has all you need. It has all the past questions you will need, okay, for your exam. It has the classroom feature that has lecture notes. So you don't need to go and buy textbooks. So, of course, we have question start feature where you can search for question according to topic. So that the question that Jamba has set under that topic before will come out for you to answer. Now, I know beautiful. Then there's a mock challenge every Saturday. Is a mock challenge every Saturday by 10 a.m. that you participate in. Okay, we release your score just like the way Jam releases scores. All right, we set question just the way Jam set that question. All right, and of course, you get used to Jam pass question, get you to likely exam questions, and you are what building confidence towards the main exam. So all these and more just for three thousand naira as at the time of shooting this video, it will increase when it does. Do not complain, please. All right, so please maybe for younger ones. All right, so it's because you are going to pass this exam at once in the name whether the devil likes it or not. All right, uh, you are going to pass this exam at once. All right, so please, uh, forms in which cells exist. You know that every living organism is what is made up of cells. Every living organism, from plants to the lowliest of them all, up to what the complex human beings. Okay, we are made up of what of cells. All right, so we are what we are made up of cells. And what do you say the cell is? We say a cell is the most basic unit of life, or it's a self-containing unit in of what of a living organism. A self-containing unit. Say it's a self-containing unit within a living organism. A self-containing unit within a living organism. Look at a cell like a room inside a house. Okay, let's see a, a big a man that has mansion, a big mansion. Okay, just one room inside that full mansion. That's what the cell is. And so it performs its what for its own function. All right. So uh that's what the cell is, but we're not going to talk about the cell today. We're talking about the forms in which what cells what exist. All right, so cells exist what in different forms, all right, and of course in various forms, uh, but one is what a single free a single or what free living. Okay, that is what at the basic what cell level. Okay, at the basic cell level, as what single free living. That means they can what they are single. They can stay alone. All right, they can stand alone. All right, they do not need what a host to what to, to to live on. Okay, so they can live on their own. Single free living. We also call them unicellular. Okay, unicellular. Okay, so uh, cells can what can be what unicellular. All right, a single or free living example. Okay, of of organisms under this single or free living is what the amoeba. Okay, the amoeba. Please take note of this of all these organisms. So these examples are the questions they set. Okay, so we have what amoeba. All right, then we have Clamodomonas. That Clamodomonas. Then we have what paramecium. Then we have euglena. All right. So these are what unicellular. All right. They exist as well at the basic cell level. Okay. They are at the cell level. All right. They are single and they are free living. Amoeba, clamadomonas, paramecium, euglena. All right. So please take note of this. These are the most what common ones. All right. A single or free living what organisms. E.g. amoeba. I'll go again. Clamadomonas, paramecium. And you're greener, all right. Then, of course, they also exist as a colony. As a colony, okay. Example is Eudorina, okay. We have Pandorina, then we have Vovox and what sponges, okay. We have Vovox, we have what sponges, all right. So, they exist also as a colony, e.g., Eudorina, e.g., Pandorina, e.g., Vovox and what sponges, all right. The Eudorina is a colony of 16 cells. Eudorina is a colony of 16 cells. Okay? Eudorina is a colony of what? Of 16 cells. 
all right? The, uh, uh, sorry, the, the Pandorina, rather, is a colony of cysteine cells. The Pandorina is a colony of cysteine cells, sorry. The Pandorina is a colony of cysteine cells. It exists as a colony of cysteine cells, the Pandorina, okay? While the Eudorina is a colony of 32 cells, Okay, the Eudorina exists as a colony of 32 of 32 or cells. While what the Volvox, okay, is a colony of hundreds and thousands of what of cells. It's a colony of what hundreds and thousands of cells. Okay, that is for what for the Volvox. Okay, it exists as a, as a colony of what hundreds and thousands of cells. Now, when a colonial organism contains what a number of cells that are arranged in a specified what that arrange what in a, in a specified definite what form. Okay, we call that what what synobium. We call that colony synobium. Synobium. Okay, C O E N O B I M. Okay, when the colonial organisms consist of a number of cells that are specifically arranged, that are specifically arranged into a definite form and integrated together, or they are fused together. Okay, when the colonial organisms what Contain a number of cells that are what specifically arranged, okay, into a definite what form, all right, and then they are integrated or fused together. Okay, we we'll call that colony synobium. Please take note of that synobium, all right, synobium. Okay, so please, then we we'll say what forms are uh, in which cells exist. We we'll say what number one a single or free living or unicellular organisms. We we'll call them amoeba, clamadomonas. Paramysium and Euglena, then we say as a colony, they also exist as a colony, e.g., the Eudorina, the Pandorina, the Vovos, and what sponges. Okay, so we say what well, the Pandorina is a what a colony of 16 cells, the Eudorina is a colony of that two cells. Okay, why well, say the Vovos is a colony of, of hundreds and thousands of cells? Take note of that. Then number three, they also exist as a filament, okay, or multicellular. All right, they are, they are what multi they are filamentous, okay, they are filamentous or structures. Okay, so let's say this as what as a filament. Okay, under this we have what the spirogyra. Okay, the spirogyra is multicellular. Okay, it is filamentous. Okay, example is what is the spirogyra. They will have the cladophora. We have the cladophora. Please take note of this example. So please, okay, we have the cladophora. All right, then we have what the eulotrix. The eulotrix. We have the zygnema. The zygnema. They have the what? The oldegonium. Okay. We have the oldegonium. The oldegonium. All right. Please take note of them. So they also exist as a filament or what multicellular or organisms. E.g., the spirogyra, the cladophora, the eulotrix, the zygnema, and the oldegonium. All right. They also they also as, exist as part of a living organism. As part of a living organism. So they, they also exist as part of a living organism. That is chick cell. Okay, An example is what is chick cell, and another example is onion cell. Then you have the epidermal cell, then you have the parenchyma what cell. These are examples that exist as part of a what of a living organism. The chick cell, the onion cell, the epidermal cell, the parenchyma cell, and what and the likes. All right, so these are the forms in which what cells exist as single or free living or unicellular, as a colony, as a filament, and what as part of living what organisms all right so please take note of this now let's go to the application so that will take some questions to cement our understanding about what the forms in which uh living organisms what uh the in which what cells what exists now number one this the 2021 question we're looking at at the beginning from the old school jump up so please if you have not like this video that's the way they do no good do. please click on that like button immediately now as you're watching the video then click on the subscribe button too so that i can get notification and keep sharing this video now all right let's go which are the following pairs 2021 number 11 which are the following pairs of organisms exist as colonies a obelia and euglena okay euglena is what is a single free is exist as what a single or free living. So that A is already wrong. B Pandorina and Volvox. Okay, as colony. We're talking about as colonies. And as a colony, example say we have for Pandorina, we have what Volvox. Okay. So C, they say Clamadomonas and Amoeba, they are also what single or free living. Then you have the hydra and the spirogyra. Okay, look at where spirogyra is exists as a filament. Okay, so our correct answer there is what Pandorina and Volvox. So you see that they said this question, right? So stop playing, all right? There's plenty. Let's go, 2001, number two. 
You see, which of the following organisms does not exist as a single free living cell? As a single free living cell. Which of the following organisms does not exist as a single free living cell? Hey, they say the volvox. The volvox exists as a colony. So, nah, you did very wrong. So, B, they say amoeba, which is correct. It exists as a single free living cell. C, clamadomonas exists as a free living, uh, single free living cell. Then, of course, D, paramecium, it exists also as a single free living cell. So, the correct answer there would be what? A, volvox. Volvox does not exist as a single free living cell. Now, let's see another question. It says, which of the following organisms cannot exist freely on its own? Cannot exist freely on its own. Okay, that is not single. Another way of saying it is what? That's why when you say jam does not repeat past question, you don't know what you are saying. They, they do, but they what? They will twist it. This question is nice, almost similar to the one we just did now. It's now they, 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 are, they, are, they are rewriting the question another form. They say, which of the following organisms cannot exist freely on its own? Okay, which one is not single or free living? A, they say Clamadomonas. Clamadomonas is single and free living. Amoeba is single and free living. C parameter is single and free living. D plasmodium. Plasmodium is not what it's not what single and free living. Okay. It's what it, it's, it's what causes malaria in its host. So it stays in its host. And what and causes malaria it cannot stay on its own. It's not single and free living. It's not free living. All right. So of course plasmodium will be the correct answer there. You see why you should know these examples, right? All right, then uh uh this is another question. This is a 2016 question, number 19. It says Organisms are the cell level of organization, at the cell level of organization, at the basic level of organization, at the cell that are unicellular. Okay, organisms are the cell level of organization, include A, they say paramecium, hydra, and spirogyra. Paramecium is part of them, but hydra is not, and uh, uh, spirogyra is not. Spirogyra exists as a filament. Okay, then B, they say amoeba, paramecium, and clamadomonas, which is very correct. C, they say chick cell, volvo, and clamadomonas. Okay. You see, chick cell is what? As part of a living organism. Volvox exists as a colony. Clamadomonas is single of a living. So C is wrong. D, they say chick cell, amoeba, and spirogyra, which is also what? Wrong. The correct answer that we wrote is option B, amoeba, paramecium, and clamadomonas. All right. So, uh, okay, there's one more question. 2014, number eight. Which of the following organism is multicellular? Okay, that exists as what? As a filament. Okay, A, they say spirogyra. B, amoeba, C, euglena, D, clamadomonas. Correct answer there would be what? Would be spirogyra. Okay, it is filamentous, it is multicellular. All right, so uh, those are five questions from the app that I was, that I was able to just touch through quickly. So there are thousands of other questions on this app. Download the app immediately, subscribe to the channel, activate the app, start practicing today, and you see yourself at the top. You will not write jam twice in Jesus' name. So please go and study and pass at once. Love you, and I'll see you in the next episode.